Hey everybody out there, welcome back to the channel. It's Chris here from JMNC Games, and today we are sowing the seeds of fun with a game called Photosynthesis. It's for two to four players, ages eight and up, and the average game time is just about 45 minutes. If you haven't already done so, please take a moment to like and subscribe to our channel. We greatly do appreciate that, and it sure does help us grow. And if you feel so inclined, if the video has helped you in any way, you can support us directly by visiting the application Buy Me a Coffee. Now let's dive in and take a look at what's inside the box. There is the board, the sun, the sun counter discs, four player boards, the first player marker, 24 scoring tokens, four light point trackers, 24 seed tokens, six for each player, 32 small trees, 8 for each player, 16 medium trees, 4 for each player, and 8 large trees, 2 for each player. To set up, place the board in the center of the playing area. Find the sun spot on the board. This is where the sun begins the game. Take the sun piece and place it on the board like this. Each player chooses a color and collects their board, trees, seeds, and light point tracker. Place the light point tracker here on the number zero. Place the four seeds here. Place the four small trees here. Place the medium trees here and the large trees here. All of the remaining pieces are placed to the side of the board. Take the scoring tokens and separate them by the number of leaves shown on the disc. Once they are all separated, take each pile and organize them highest to lowest with the highest token being on the top and the lowest token on the bottom. Take the scoring tokens and place them alongside of the board so that all players can reach. Take the sun tokens and stack them highest to lowest. In a regular game, you only use 3, 2, and 1. There is an extended game which uses the number 4 disc. Place it by the starting position of the sun. Choose a player to go first and give them the first player marker. Starting with the first player, they should take one of the small trees that are not on the player board and place it anywhere along the outside ring of the board followed by the next player, and so on. Once all players have placed one tree, they now place a second tree, also along the outside ring, starting with the last player and going around back to the first. Once this is completed, you are now ready to start the game. Now the object of the game is to have the most amount of points at the end of three revolutions of the sun. Points are earned by collecting scoring tokens, which you can earn by growing trees to their largest size. Now, in order to understand how the game works, we need to go over a few things about your player board and how things work on the main board. First, when you look at your player board, these items that are off to the side are your available items, or things that you own and are ready to place onto the board. Things here in this area are items that are available to purchase and move into your available items. Here indicates how many light points each of the items cost. When making a purchase of these items, you always start with the item on the lowest spot on the board and then work your way up. When making a purchase, you move your light point tracker, the number of light points needed, then collect the item and move it over to your available items collection. The bottom part of your player board shows the costs and placement reminders of items going onto the board, which we'll talk about more in just a minute. Now we look at the sun. The sun shines light on trees across the board based on its position. Here you will see arrows which show how the light goes across the board and how it runs through each row. At the end of each round, the sun moves one position over. There are six positions in total before completing a rotation. 
When the sun returns to its start position, you remove one of the sun disks to indicate how many rotations are left in the game. Now we will look at trees and how they work placed on the board. When trees gather light from the sun, they earn you light points. Small trees earn one light point, medium trees earn two, and large trees earn three. In order to collect these points, the trees have to have a clear exposure from the sun for that round. When the light moves across the board as it hits trees, those trees cast a shadow. If another tree is within the shadow, that tree does not collect any light points. Small trees cast a shadow of one space, medium trees two spaces, and large trees three spaces. Let's take a look at a few examples. So here is the sun, and we have two trees in this row. They're both small. This tree is directly hit by the sun, but this tree is right next to the other and is also the same height. So the second tree does not collect any light points as it is in the shadow. However, if the second tree was just one space away from the small tree, it is no longer in the shadow and will collect light. Now the same setup, but this time the second tree is a medium tree. It is in the shadow of the smaller tree. However, because it is taller, it is still being struck by the sun and therefore collects the sun points. Flip the situation around. The smaller tree would have to be at least two spaces away from the medium tree in order to collect light. Another thing trees can do is plant seeds for new trees. A small tree can spread a seed on the adjacent space from the spawning tree. Medium trees can plant one or two spaces away, and large trees can plant up to three spaces away. All right, now that we understand some of the basic concepts, we can go through how the game is played. Each round has two phases. The first phase is the photosynthesis phase, where the sun casts its light across the forest. Each tree that is struck by the sun collects light points for that player based on how we described earlier. Once players are done tallying their light points, they move their light point tracker accordingly on their board. When completed, this ends the photosynthesis phase. The second phase is where each player will take their actions, starting with the first player and then working their way around the board. On your turn, you can take as many actions as you wish, as long as you have the necessary light points to complete each desired action. You may also do these in any order you wish. The actions are buy a tree or a seedling from the bank storage and place it into your available area. When doing this, you always take the item that is in the lowest position, pay the necessary costs by adjusting your light point tracker and moving the item to the side of your board. Planting a seed on the board. To complete this action, you must have a seed in your available items. Pay one light point and place the seed within the appropriate amount of spaces from one of your trees. Small tree is one space, medium tree two spaces, and the large tree up to three spaces. Growing your trees. You can upgrade a seed to a small tree, a small tree to a medium tree, or a medium tree to a large tree. Pay the necessary amount of light points for which upgrade you are doing, remove the old item from your board, and replace it with the larger item from your available area. You must upgrade in the proper order. Now the old item when removed goes back to the bank on your player board to the lowest available spot. If there is no space for that item in the bank, then that item is returned to the box and is lost for the remainder of the game. Taking a scoring tile. 
If you have a large tree on the board, you are able to take this action. First, pay four light points from your light tracker. Remove the large tree from the board and return it back to the bank on the player board. See the spot on the board where the tree was removed. It will have one, two, three, or four leaves. You then take the corresponding point token from the scoring tiles. You always take the top token of that pile and place it by your player board. If you go to collect a scoring tile and there is not one of the same where you removed your tree from, then collect the next level down. And of course, one last option is to do nothing. Choose to save your light points for the next round. However, keep in mind that the most you can have is 20. Anything earned beyond that is wasted. One last thing you need to know about taking actions is once a spot has been used during a round, you cannot use the same spot again to perform another action. For example, if you planted a seed here during your turn, you could not upgrade that seed in the same turn. You would have to wait for the next round to complete. The same would be said of removing your large tree off of a space and collecting a scoring token. You would not be able to plant a seed in the same spot for that turn. Once you have completed all of your actions that you're going to take, indicate so that the next player should take their actions until all players have taken their turn. When completed, this ends the round. The sun is now moved to the next position on the board. The first player marker is passed to the next player and play starts again. Photosynthesis phase, then action phase. When the sun has completed its third trip around the board, that's 18 rounds, then that is the end of the game. Players now total their scoring discs that they were able to collect, and if they have any light points left on the board, you will see scoring points indicated here. Whoever has the highest score is the winner of the game. Now there is an advanced version of the game which makes things a bit harder. You add a fourth rotation of the sun, and during the game, any player whose tree is currently blocked from the sun cannot drop a seed from that tree or upgrade that tree during the turn. They would have to wait until the sun comes around and strikes the tree from a different direction. And that is how you play photosynthesis. Thanks for joining us today. We sure hope you enjoyed our explanation on photosynthesis. If you've got any questions, you can always drop them down in the comments below, and I'll be sure to try and answer those as quickly as I can. And while you're there, go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel. We greatly do appreciate that. Well, now we know the basics, so let's play.